Hello to my Libras and happy Freedom Friday to my Libras. This is Queen Amun-Ra coming to you with your general reading, Libras. Let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. All right, Libras, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. We're in the waxing crescent moon phase as we are in the first quarter moon phase. First quarter moon phase is not just about setting intentions to land on the bright side of your emotions, but also putting some action behind it. So if that means you got to close out cycles, close them out in love. All right. All right, Libras. All right, all right, all right. Whatever cycles you need to close them out, close them out in love or the best way you can, right? Self-love if you, if you need to start there. All right, so here we go. Um, number four. So this could have something to do with another air sign. And somebody is finally letting something rest. Somebody's finally getting their rest. Here we also have the nine of um, pentacles. Somebody's not, you know, giving, not giving any more time to it. Somebody's finally letting something rest. Um, possibly where your head and heart were at war with each other. Here we also have the two of pentacles. We also have the six of pentacles. And we also have the um, two of swords. And we also have the Ten of Wands. All right, Libras, let's do it. So finally, I see somebody moving on, possibly from another air sign. Maybe it's a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to give you the questions for the moon in Gemini. Since I, I believe when you watch this video, the moon will be in Taurus. You already have the previous questions for the moon in Taurus. But I definitely feel like somebody could be moving on from, um, you know, some energies where maybe your head and heart were at war with each other, which is going to kick off another series of events. Remember, time is relative. So some things from your past is going something, something that you're letting rest that you did not see coming. Somebody could have shut down because they had blindfolds on, couldn't see head and heart being at war with each other. And a lot of times you don't see things coming. If you got on blindfolds, even though your ancestors have been saying, hey, uh, as it relates to when we talk about uh, pentacle, uh, pentacles energy, we're talking about the element, the element of earth, right? As it relates to fam, whoever was in your life between the ages of zero and seven, somebody has been shut down. So it definitely threw somebody's heart chakra out of alignment, right? So source is saying to you, you won't be able to see the blessings coming your way or the burdens coming your way. If you, if you don't, if you just, you know, blind to everything, spiritually blind to everything until somebody either cuts you off or you have to cut somebody off in a very traumatic situation. So somebody's letting something rest finally. Here we also have the nine of pentacles. So number nine would be something has ended. You're not giving any more time to something. Matter of fact, somebody's going back to something that gives you peace, maybe investing in yourself, adding an additional stream of income. And I do see some money coming across your path, right? So something had to end for you to get back into at least eight streams of income, right? So somebody had to let something rest where your head and heart were at war with each other. But when you take the blindfolds off, somebody's going to see how many times they've been burned in the past, possibly by a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, right? So somebody could have been burned a couple of times. So somebody is definitely moving on from some energies. And that's going to make somebody booked and busy. So I feel like a lot of people are learning, you know, from one situation is going to set off a series of events in other areas of your life, right? So a heartbreak could cause you to say, gosh, I was so, my mind was so focused on past hurt. You know, I, I bet my, remember the number two is the P, number for peace, right? The dark side of the number two is I'm keeping energies that disrupt my peace connected to me because my head and heart are at war with each other <clears throat> that I can't even see blessings, energies that's coming to add peace to my life, right? So I feel like something happened, a Libra, that is going to give you, you're going to finally put something to rest and finally say, okay, let me get back to working. Let me get back to adding multiple streams of income. I see I'm, I see myself like somebody's been praying. I want to be booked and busy and not burdened. But somebody had to take some kind of an act to, to move on, leave some things burned. And it may start with one situation, but then it's going to be like a domino effect. Because again, in order to move to financial independence, somebody may be head and heart may have been at war with each other about one thing, but other things, like I said, more money is coming across your path. So if you're still connected to family members that go see you being booked and busy, but they add into your stress, I see somebody, it's going to be a lot of purging this year. I keep trying to tell people, but people don't want to believe it. it's going to be a lot of purging. Um, 
this year. So here we also have the Queen of Cups. Here we also have the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Star card, right? The Star card, right? So somebody may have had to move on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, possibly from an Aquarius because that's the Star card. Here's the thing about, um, and that could have started something, like, um, or you may, when I say you may have um, been inspired by an Aquarius looking at your car. So let's look at it from the light side. Something could have happened where you were inspired to really say, okay, I'm a star in my own right. So let me, um, when we talking about you got 24 hours in a day, somebody may have given a lot of time to one thing in your life. But then when you turn around and go, hey, I'm inspired. I'm a star in my own right. Let me focus on my purpose, right? So everything is lining up perfectly for you when it comes to your money. Here we have eight of pentacles and also three of pentacles, right? So everything is lining up perfectly for you. Source says, you know, as far as loved ones are concerned, like family members, when you get away from looking for people's approval, this is this, and recognize that source has already approved more money to come across your path, that's when it's going to hit somebody like, oh my gosh. So I see some kind of proposal coming across your path. It's like you and somebody had at least eight streams of income coming across your path, whether it's a business situation for you and somebody or whether it's a love situation, because in a proposal could be, I see a lot of proposals coming across your path, right? Here we also have the Queen of Cups. So I definitely see your compassion for self and for other people increasing after coming out of a nightmare situation, right? Remember one nightmare situation, I see somebody in receiving mode of not putting a whole lot of time into something that could have first started off as like, okay, I'm putting, a, I'm investing a whole lot of time in family members for whatever reason that have been adding to my, um, disrupting my peace versus, and I couldn't see that something was, um, adding to my peace, right? Whatever that looks like, you know, um, sometimes you miss, sometimes it could seem like you missed a blessing until a sword situation happens. Um, until something is just cut like the airline, like maybe you stop talking to somebody or whatever, uh, for somebody to say, hold on that you are inspired by other, and remember there's multiple stars in the sky, so you're a star in your own right. So something painful could have happened that caused somebody to really get back to focusing on their purpose. Here we also have the sun card. There it is. We know that the sun is a star, right? So you're a sun, I mean, you're a star in your own right. You have your own purpose. And so source is saying, don't give a whole lot of energy to, you know, keep, you know, somebody's giving a whole lot of energy to things that, really just don't serve your highest purpose, like focusing on herd. And I put so much time into family. I've invested so much time in family. I've invested so much time in this and invested so much time in that. There's no such thing. You can't, you can't lose time. <laughs> Yo, I wasted my time. So it's just like, uh, yeah, okay. Change your whole mind, your mind, your whole mindset. You actually learning lessons. So somebody is learning in your light. Source will expose exactly who you'll be going into business with, what jobs you need to take, how you're going to increase your money and all of that. So here we have something was awakening you, high priestess energy, high priestess energy, right? So here we have eight of swords and um, something would have definitely driven you crazy. Something would have different, driven you crazy to be connected to something would have definitely added to somebody's pain if you had not. If a situation had not happened, whatever the situation was, Libra, but something would have added to your pain. Here we have the lover's card. So I see some kind of partnership in business and or in love coming across your path. Like I said before, something had to set off a chain of events for somebody, right? Like, so first we got the, um, the four of swords, right? <clears throat> so the number four is the earth number. So something had to happen here on earth, like physically your, your body is your earth, right? Something had to happen um, where it threw your head and heart chakra out of alignment. And somebody, like, if, if somebody had on blindfolds before about how much pain they've gone through from their family, it's off the blindfolds have been snatched off now. I mean, whether they were forcibly removed or gently removed, sources say your ancestors have been trying to tell you to remove the blindfolds as it relates to loved ones, right? 
And somebody, like I said, when you once you get to the nine of swords and you wake up, and remember there's two sides to the swords, right? If you're walking around with blindfolds on, you don't know who you hurt by what you're saying. You don't know whose nightmares you're triggering and who's triggering your nightmares, right? So swords is saying now that you are awakened from a nightmare, it's going to be a whole lot of energy you're not pouring time into anymore. And that's what's going to make room for people's wealth. This is going to be a real interesting year. And I've been saying that. Even in my um, prediction videos, it's like a lot of it's the purging part of who and what you need to purge that's going to really um, set some things in motion. It's, it's what what emo what toxic emotions and who are those toxic emotions connected to? So here we have the Knight of Wands. I definitely see somebody staying away from tr some treacherous energies, um, you know, because they burn you out. They they uh, leave you drained and all of that. So here we have the Ace of Cups. I feel like um, <clears throat> somebody coming across your path, this is, again, I got, I'm moving through space and time here, but somebody coming across your path, um, uh, Libra, is going to be like a fresh cup of water. They will protect your emotions. And like I said before, they will protect your energy, right? But I, I feel like it'll be just like you're protecting their energy. So it'll definitely be uh, an even exchange of soulmate energy coming across your path. That's going to really help somebody on their journey. Here we have Page of Swords. So your anxiety, it will be over very soon about a situation. Ace of Swords, right? So um, you're going to start asking yourself, why did I put so much energy into being burned possibly by fire energy? Like, why did I, why did I, what's the motive? What was the, what, what was it about that, that lit a flame in me and almost, I kept thinking about it and I was so angry and I was so upset. All it takes is for somebody to come across with a sword and cut that, like cut the air supply. Like, so let me help somebody understand what I mean. So let's say you're connected to bullying energy, right? And you meet somebody that you start feeling like I'm having my, my heart is like, wow, okay. I didn't know my heart was going to feel like this. And they see something in you, Libra, that says, okay, I don't want to believe that Libra has this rage in them. Like, but they seem like they angry about something and the energy cuts you off. That sets off a, a that sets off a series of events where you say, okay, now I got to take the blindfolds off. Like what? I didn't see that coming. Like what the heck? Source is saying to you, <clears throat> Energies coming across your path that are like, okay, they get, they need to, something would have cut them, something would have cut, when well, you got on blindfolds, you don't know what you're saying to trigger other people's nightmares. You don't know what's going on because you got on blindfolds, so you don't even know what you said, or you don't know what you're saying to um, trigger other people's nightmares. But when energies move on, now, it, and you take the blindfolds off, now you start to see whenever you're thinking about certain people, places, and things that Source told you to leave behind a long time ago. So now, it now it, I need to get away from that treachery. I need to get away from that. And so in that, I see you meeting someone, you know, that is, like I said, soulmate energy. So, yeah. And you absolutely deserve it. You all are relationship sign. You all love relationships. But when you start thinking about energies that just set you on fire, they just upset you. And you start saying every time I, you know, it could be somebody's sister. You know that when you think about certain energies, a fire energy, it could be somebody's mom. It could be something, something with somebody's head and heart at war with each other. It's just like certain energies being around certain energies who have been trying to dim your star. All it takes is coming across a person who's already in their light to show you, you don't have to deal with all of that. That's all it takes. Now you're going to start seeing your money free up. You're going to start seeing a lot of things free up for you, like a lot of opportunities coming across, proposals coming across your path left and right. We're not talking about just marriage proposals. We're talking about business partnerships proposals as well. So yeah, and then it's going to make sense. Hey, it was never meant for certain energies to be in my life. It was meant, and I'm saying this at the highest frequency in, a, in agape love, right? Because a lot of people say, oh, I dodged the burden if I had known this. Source is saying, no, you're going to start seeing how Source will send people across your path for a short period of time to deliver a message and then move on, right? Because this is what you're headed to, the King of Pentacles, the wealthiest card in the deck. See, this King of Pentacles is coming out in a lot of people's cards, but what people are not willing, some people are not really willing to cut paths with loved ones. That's what it was. This is to my loved ones. 
the first card is like wanting to be loved, to love, to love other people, but also wanting to be loved. We're talking about heart chakra. So I definitely feel like somebody is getting focused. It's going to be some energies that sound, your loved ones are going to say, oh, just like you may have said about other people, oh, they run at the first sign of trouble. They're not, I'm, you know, they run, you can look at this two different ways, light and dark side of it. Or they got back to focus on their their mission here on earth. They got what they needed to get across. And that's where the breakthrough is going to come in. When somebody says, oh, somebody wasn't running from anything. They went, They had to get back to their, their purpose. Here we also have the King of Swords. So on your throne, you're not trying to... You're, you're, you, I feel like somebody came across somebody who's trying to help you to adjust your crown. Right? Uh, you know, so... But again, you're going to have to like not go into escapism to see it. Somebody source wants somebody to dream even bigger, but it's some energies that I see you moving on from. I definitely see you moving on from, and definitely you're moving on from deep disappointment and hurt. Um, and again, I've been saying this right here. Everybody, you can't take everybody to here. You cannot take everybody to this. Well, think about some of your family members, you know, Libra, some of your family members can't go places where you're going because they're, they're, and again, I'm trying to say this without any harsh judgment of pe of my family, your family, their family, whoever, is some people don't know how to conduct themselves around the amount of money that's coming across your path. They don't know how to conduct themselves. They jealous, they um, low vibration, they talking negatively about people, you know, telling you they know certain things about you that nobody else knows about you. So it's just saying, go ahead and cut them off right now. You came across somebody who was operating in their light and they're not, they're not going to compromise their mission here on earth. See, once you know what your purpose is and you go against that, now it's, it's you being disobedient to God. So obedience is better than sacrifice, right? So you're obedient to source. And when you come across a person who is obedient to source, it wouldn't matter what you thought about them. If, they, if God told them, hey, go ahead and move on from this, in human form, they could have cried about it, but they're still moving on. In human form, if God says, don't call them, they're they moving on. They're being obedient to source. So that's what somebody is about to start learning. So yeah, source will send people across your path that's just for a short period of time. And then somebody's going to start to wake, awaken to like, it's not by coincidence that you stood in line in a grocery store, um, <clears throat> stood in whoever's line. It's not by coincidence that when you went into the post office, these people, these particular people were at the same, at the, in the post office at that particular time, Libra. Everything starts to become clearer when you're operating in purpose. That's why somebody's finally getting some rest, letting something rest in peace. That's why somebody said, I'm finally letting something rest in peace. I need to take the blindfolds off and I need to end. I need to move on from, I need to pick myself back up and I'm letting something rest in peace. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Let me see what else we got going on here. Libras. Um, so as you're moving forward towards this partnership in love and or in business, um, let me see. Let me see. Let me make sure I got everything. Okay. All right. Yeah. And I'm talking to you if you have Libra anywhere in your birth chart. Here are the questions for the moon and Gemini. Um, Gemini really is a social butterfly type of energy, right? And, you know, they, um, they, they, Gemini's, you know, that twin energy, right? That's that lover's car. That twin energy is, you know, they know how to tap into the light and dark side. When you're operating in your light, I think people are going to get, when the moon moves through Gemini, people are going to start seeing, you know, like Gemini's kind of get a bad rap. They, you know, people, oh, they just switch up real quick and what's wrong with them? Something. But they're actually teaching us at a higher um, frequency than if it's not fun, if you can already see that you're going to add to other people's nightmare or they're going to add to your nightmares, then it's okay to, to switch. It's okay to move forward, right? So the first question um, for the moon in Gemini is, do you feel there's an area of your life in need of radical change like work, your relationships, well-being, your home life? The second question is, what's getting in the way of you changing your story? The third question is, how could, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life. The fourth question is who are the five people that you can get in touch with who could help you on your journey? Yeah, who could help you on your journey? Yeah, so five people could be five authors of books, but this is what I see coming across your path. I definitely see um, you, like I said, some kind of partnership in business and love where it actually adds to your, um, it actually adds to 
your overall mission like it's like meeting a person who is also wealthy right like i already see your wealth here this is your wealth right here king of pentacles but it's like you meeting somebody else who is also very wealthy too and i see you all having a very um a very um wonderful life together where you feel nurtured you feel protected you feel secure with them like i said some kind of proposal is coming across your path um here we also have the five of pentacles right so i feel like in the past and this is what i was talking about family members staying connected to you for what they can get from you but they don't tell you everything it would be like a person calling you only when they need something they have an ulterior motive so they come in to bring gossip trash talk but at the end of that call they asking you for some money and then they, they take whatever information you share with them and go talk about you and then leave you out in the cold. So now when you go around family functions, you don't know why people are looking at you side eye because they told something right and left you out in the cold. So it's, it's a lot of stuff that I definitely see, you know, changing here. I see you definitely continuing to work hard. Here's a Knight of Pentacles. And this is just kind of walking it backwards. And so page of pentacles when you this is like new information incoming information about certain types of energies that you know like i said before they leave people out in the cold and um somebody somebody's view is changing right so at first you may have felt like somebody else left you out in the cold and that they had an ulterior motive for being connected to you until you realize hey somebody didn't want anything from me like i don't i don't get it <laughs> Like, I don't get, like, that's what can be confusing for somebody. Like, I don't get it. Somebody didn't get any money from me. They didn't get any sex from me. They didn't get any, they didn't get anything from me. All they got was some of my time and conversation or whatever, right? But they didn't get anything, you know, really like anything, any physical, anything from me, right? But I definitely see somebody feeling like laying some things to rest and just moving forward. And, and that's when somebody's going to say, okay, like I said, a series of events, you're starting to cut some people off. Like I'm traveling light where I'm going. I am not bringing other people's baggage with me of their rage and their low, their low, um, you know, rage and bullying energies and try to make people feel timid. I'm not bringing that along with me. So good for you. I am strong. That's right. I am strong. That's right. That's it. I love this for you all, Libra, because <clears throat> I remember um, I remember one of the readings I did for you all when I was like, you know, y'all telling everybody, get out the car. <clears throat> they using up all your gas and everything. But you remember, source had to, when, when you're not ready, it can all seem like fun and games until something comes into your life where your head and heart are at war with each other and a sword comes out and just says, cut, I'm not adding to their nightmare. And so now that made somebody take their blindfolds off and say, have I been carrying other people's rage in me? Have I been carrying other people's um, low self-esteem? Have I been carrying other energies to my family, whether it's blood relative, family married into, whatever? Okay, I need to travel light. I need to make room for all the wealth that I know is coming my way. And I need to make room for healthy relationships where I feel covered and I know I can cover other people. So somebody has an ascension going on. I love it. So I even see your verbiage changing. That's why somebody's letting something rest because I see your verbiage change. I don't see you. I see if you're not adjusting, you're not wasting your time, you know, like I try, trying to knock somebody else's crown off, trying to mess up somebody else's money. None of that stuff. If it's not about speaking highly or, you know, or like helping somebody to adjust their crown, you're certainly not trying to knock it off, you know, their, their head, right? You're not trying to dim somebody else's light for yours to shine bright. We got too many stars in the sky. Because that can actually backfire. You ever see, um, you ever see, this, this is what somebody's about to learn. Here we have joy, affirmations for joy. I was created for a purpose. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. That's it. So, so what I was getting ready to say is that sometimes people who are hating on you, they're your best marketers. They're so busy hating on you, they create a buzz, right? So people now they really wanna, they really wanna know who you are, right? That's why I always tell people when people are operating in their light and they're being obedient to source, if source tells them to do this, do that, do this, they just in such obedience because they've been hurt themselves. They spend so much time wallowing in nightmares. Um <clears throat> That's why I see somebody moving towards getting away from, you know, getting away from that kind of thing. Here we have courage. Let me begin to courageously take the steps that are shown, right? I feel like with this right here, 
somebody may have felt like they got the cold shoulder from you, Libra, and that may have triggered a nightmare for them um, of feeling like left out, like not knowing what they may have said or what they may have done for some kind of cold shoulder. And for them, that could have stepped, started them on the process of saying, I need to move on. Like, I know what this feels like. So you never know. Like I said, when you got on blindfolds, you really don't know what you could say or do to, to trigger a nightmare for somebody. Just like they may not know what they said or did to trigger a nightmare with you. So now somebody is wide awake, blindfolds off. Here we have 17. I am independent. The quality of work you can produce when you're going at it alone is almost unbelievable. You are as independent as you are ambitious, capable of performing every step of the way with efficiency, focus, and skill. So 17 is number, uh, one in seven, obviously is eight, which is a money exchange number. I definitely see somebody getting away from energies that are on the dark side of eight. And if you've been tuned into my channel, you know exactly what I'm about to say. Energies who are forceful, egotistical, and materialistic and energies who have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior because those type of bullying energies, you'll be carrying their weight around, their heaviness around. Those are the types of energies that will turn around and try to use your past against you and try to hurt you. So you had to come across a person that help you to adjust your crown. And that's not going to spend a whole lot of time, you know, like, a, a, you know, operating outside of their purpose on this planet. So, yeah. So um, let me see what else we got going on here. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, let's pull one last, uh, well, two cards and we're going to, oh, one last card and we're going to go ahead. Um, yeah. One last card and we're going to go ahead and close it. I feel like somebody's ex, ex-family members, ex-love interest. One, I feel like this energy that you're getting some rest with, for some of you all, <clears throat> um, it doesn't really matter how long energies were in your life. Sometimes people come across your path to help you to adjust your crown, to let you know, and it, it, it's time to open your vault. Yeah, it's time to open your vault. This right here is about our demons, more so than people staying connected to you um, for, you know, or, you know, your demons could have been feeling like you were left out in the cold or your demons could feel like, you know, people were connecting to you for what they can get from you. So you may have already been so used to people having a goal when they get to you when you come across somebody who doesn't want anything from you, that may throw somebody completely out of alignment. Like what? I'm so used to people using me. You may have been a person that says, okay, I already know. Let me just jump ahead of it. Let me get in front of it. I'm so used to people, so used to people using me. Let me just offer stuff, right? But again, that's your, those were your demons. But for them, it could have been something triggering. See this snow right here? Somebody could have felt like they got the cold shoulder from you. Or they could have felt like they were ignored. And for a person who is operating in their light, they're not going to spend a whole lot of time with cold shoulder energy. So source is saying to you, it's time to open up your vault to exactly what it is that you want. I definitely see you meeting someone who is definitely very wealthy when it comes to knowledge and wisdom is going to help you to really, um, it's going to, the, the energy is going to help you manage your time in a way that you're not letting any grass grow up under your feet. Like this is definitely beyond being a workaholic. Like, this is when you're operating in your light, you feel like, okay, you're so energized. You don't even know, you don't even feel tired, you know, like you have to set a clock and say, okay, I, I need to get some, I need to get some rest. You're operating from purpose. Even if you're working for somebody else, well, it's all working for somebody else, but you know what I'm saying? Like working for an organization, you like your job so much because you feel like, okay, I know I'm helping people. Um, or if you have a business, I know I'm helping people and in your light, that's where the protection is. And guess what? Just like the sun, some people are going to be shady <laughs> when you're in your light. Some people are going to welcome that. They're going to feel like, ooh, I feel like I'm sunbathing. Like this is cleansing for me. I had all this stale energy on me and them operating in their light, their sun, you know, oh, this feels great, right? You're going to come across some people who only want you to shine at night while they shine. They want the whole world to be centered around them. It's a whole lot of people that you're going to come in contact with, Libra, when you, when you recognize your purpose, right? So I definitely see some kind of partnership in business or love or some proposals coming across your path that's going to be really worth your while. So when you come across people who are operating in their light, it doesn't matter how much money they have, doesn't matter what their zip code is, doesn't matter what their background is, they find, just be happy for somebody that they finally found their light. You don't even need to know their backstory. So it's just saying, be grateful that energy, source sends energies across your path to help you to find yours. 
So they were right. They were right in their in their purpose. That's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next video. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye.